In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and in what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Grant, Lord, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to en enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. After Adam had eaten off the tree, the Lord God called him and asked him, where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, who told you you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbid forbidden you to eat. The man replied, the woman whom you put here with me, she gave me the fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, the serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly you shall crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offsprings and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve because she became the mother of all living. The word of the Lord. The responsorial response is, glorious things are told of you, O city of God. His foundation upon the holy mountains of the Lord loves, the gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God, in O Zion, they shall say, one and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the most high Lord. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. 
They shall note when peoples are in roll, this man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance, my home is within you. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. O happy virgin, you gave birth to the Lord, O blessed mother of the church. You warm our hearts with the spirit of your son, Jesus Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, woman, behold your son. Then he said to his disciple, behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. After this, aware that everything was now finished in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine, so they put a sponge soaked in wine of, on a spring of hyssop and put it to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, it is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over the spirit. Now, since it was the preparation day, in order that the bodies might not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for the Sabbath day of that week was a solemn one, the Jews asked Pilate that their legs be broken and they be taken down. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and then of the other one who was crucified with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one soldier thrust his lance into his side and immediately blood and water flowed out. The Gospel of the Lord. In May, of 1917, distressed by the horrors of World War I, Pope Benedict XV wrote a message to all priests expressing his frustrations that the world leaders were not responding to what he termed the mass suicide of Europe. He begged the priests of the world to petition heaven with prayer Eight days after the release of this letter, the Pope received an answer. The message was delivered to three children in Fatima. Our Lady told the children, if they do what I tell you, they will have peace. 102 years after these apparitions, Peace remains a dream for millions of people who still live in senseless conflict. We all feel overwhelmed by images of death and destruction, by the pain of innocent men and women who plead for help, by violent mass shootings, and by the drama of refugees fleeing war only to be received at unwelcome borders. At times, we seem to think that we are on the brink of another world war. Our world leaders exhibit extremism. Civil conversation has ceased. Lines are being drawn. Walls are under construction. In the midst of these great concerns and uncertainties about the future of our world, what does Fatima ask of us? a message so simple we can easily overlook it. 
quote, to persevere in our consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary through the daily recitation of the rosary. Yet it is also with joy and gratitude that we gather at the shrine that commemorates the apparitions of Our Lady to three shepherd children. We join throngs of pilgrims who in these hundred years have come here to show their trust in Mary, the Mother of Heaven. We celebrate the Eucharist in honor of her Immaculate Heart. As a mother concerned for the trials of her children, Mary appeared here with a message of consolation and hope for a world at war and for the world today. Quotation, in the end, my immaculate heart will triumph. In other words, trust. In the end, love and peace will triumph, for God's mercy is always stronger than the power of evil. Mary came to remind us that God's light dwells within us and protects us. In Lucia's account, the children found themselves surrounded by God's light as it radiated from Our Lady. Quote, Our Lady enveloped us in the mantle of light that God had given her. Accordingly, Pope Francis has stated that Fatima is more than anything this mantle of light that protects us here as in almost no other place on earth. It has been over a century since the appearances of Our Lady in Fatima, but the message she spoke to the, through the children remains true to us today. We may fear that humankind has not learned from the lessons of the past, but let us remember that despite the darkness present in our lives today, despite the evils and wickedness committed in this world, we as Christians can follow in the footsteps of Mary, whose faith in God and life was brilliantly alive. We can serve as beacons of light, bringing light to those in the darkness. We come to Pat Fatima because the Pilgrim Church, the instrument of evangelization and the sacrament of salvation needs the grace of Fatima to carry forth the message of Our Lady. We come to Fatima to pray in union with Mary, so many pilgrims, so for our human family, afflicted as it is by various ills and sufferings. We would be mistaken to think that Fatima's prophetic mission is complete. The message of Fatima continues to be prayer and penance. Pray the rosary every day. Fatima is not a warning, it is a hope. In the gospel today, we hear Jesus say to his disciple, here is your mother. One day, years ago in Fatima, three children saw her right here. They ran home that evening and Jacinta could not restrain herself. She told her mother, today I saw Our Lady. Today we can say the same. Let us all pray together, brothers and sisters in Christ, with the words the angel at Fatima taught the children to say 102 years ago. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Amen.
Let us raise forth our hearts as we lift up these prayers to our Father. For the church, may God's grace shared through the ministry of Christ's saving work continue to draw others to him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all priests and ministers, that God will strengthen them as they proclaim the gospel with joy and thanksgiving. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our leaders of our country and the leaders of the countries where we are guests, may the Lord inspire them in passing laws upholding the dignity of every human person from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our children, that Mary will continue to guide them all to her son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in Christ, may they rise to eternal life with him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions we hold in the recesses of our hearts, particularly the grace we are praying for in this pilgrimage, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, receive these prayers of all the faithful and those that we hold in our hearts. We ask this through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered no request be made in vain through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Up your Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this, the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he, <clears throat> may he, make, up, he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed, with Saint Joseph, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with, with all the saints in whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Antonio our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into sin, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoicing in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Fatima to love and serve the world.